So we have something here that might be good for anybody who does a lot of camping or anything like that or has a emergency response kind of grab bag thing that they've got for you know any kind of emergency you know, natural disaster whatever you have so this is a basically a compact what I'm gonna call like a power access kit okay now this is obviously US centric because all of the plugs and sockets on here are US style but what we have is we basically have several components of this that um, are here and the main item is the cord right there this cord is actually 25 feet long it's made out of SPT1 18 gauge lamp cord so it's a very small um, cord it's nice and compact it's lightweight 18 gauge it's a small conductor size <clears throat> so this is for if you want to run your electronics your chargers whatever it is from some power source like the outlet on the side of a building or something like that or an inverter from a vehicle or a campground uh, whatever you have this here is a nice lightweight cord obviously it's not designed for high current applications so what I've done here is to make the plugs as small as possible actually used insulation displacement plugs and fittings on the ends so they have the style of uh, connection to the cord with the pins that drive into the insulation and contact the copper in the cord it makes them very small and compact it is also non-polarized so you're probably not going to come across too many non-polarized outlets but they do exist so this allows you to access those whereas normal extension cords that you would purchase have polarized plugs on them and this one on the on the female end is a three-way tap style plug same thing with insulation displacement this is all vintage stuff that i had uh, from who knows where but you can you can buy all these things new if you want and you can make your cord 50 feet you can make it 100 feet however long you want just paying attention to how much current you can pull through an 18 gauge cord at the prop at the at the length that you choose now we have one of these it's a light socket converter that converts a screw in light socket base to two outlets and an additional light socket so you can actually keep the bulb intact if you want and then tap your power off using this and pull power out of a light fixture okay and then i also include this style of light fixture tap in the event that you can't fit this one inside the light fixture you can use this one and you plug the device directly into it you just don't have a bulb um, that pass through and then you can store this fitting here inside the end of the uh, this other adapter and of course this is a non grounded so if you have to plug in something that's grounded bring one of these ground adapters which you can purchase these as well there are every every hardware store Walmart in the world has one of these at least here in the US I should say they have these so when you plug your laptop in it has the ground prong on it which isn't really required in most cases you can just bypass that and just leave that not connected and plug it into your uh, your cord right like that and have your charger plugged in the other side whatever whatever plugged in here uh, so it's nice and small the other thing I think is good to include is one of these it's an immersion heater this is a 300 watt immersion water heater so this allows you to heat up heat up liquids so coffee tea ramen noodles soup uh, boiling water you can actually boil water with this and you can plug this into your cord bear in mind that the female end of this plug is polarized okay and you can plug that in and you can heat up water with this device 
and it's nice and small and compact. Obviously, you have to have a container in which to heat the water, a coffee mug or a plastic cup or something like that. But this allows you to effectively make food, um, you know, with, uh, with any power source. And it's, and it's small, lightweight, convenient. Okay. Now, some people might carry a fuel burning device instead of one of these. But if I'm in the car, I use this with an inverter in order to heat stuff up. So it's a nice thing to carry around because it's just so lightweight and so simple. So that's it. Two items that might be good to have in your camping or emergency kit or whatever it is.